Garmin Nuvi 350 teardown. Well, instead of demonstrating this one, uh, I'm going to tear it down because I got my 360 and 350 as a set. Uh, they were very cheap. Uh, the seller said they were working, but with this one is a problem. The power button doesn't work. There's a crack in the plastic, and I was refunded for it. The guy didn't even want it back. He's like, you can keep it. And given these things are still in use by ham guys and such, amateur radio guys, they're probably going to want to change the battery in it. Well, this is by far the most difficult newbie I've ever had to take apart. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. You need T5 Torx. One of these. You need something with a very sharp uh, metal with a very sharp tip on the end. And either a very slim pry tool or a guitar pick. Here we go. The first two screws are right here and here. So you take those off of the antenna portion first. Move that out of the way. These are short little guys. That's step one. Step two, you have to pry it apart. Like, it usually comes apart on its own. Now, bear in mind that that little connector there is a hole. So, it goes that way. So, I'll just see if I can get it off. Oh, one more thing. There's a little piece of plastic right here. This is just so annoying to get off. I'm going to try to do this. I don't even know if there's a civilized way to do it. Okay. Oh man. There we go. Okay. So that part came out on that side. And then we take it out that way. There we go. Okay. Cover comes off. There is the board, which is the antenna. Now, inside here is a ribbon cable. So we just kind of edge it out. You got to be real, because there's a connector right there. You got to be real ginger about this. And there we go. And you can pull out this way slightly. And there we go. There's the ribbon. Get it out of the way. Now, as a matter of fact, I'll see if I can get this on camera. Let me see if I can focus that. In here. See that? There's a little hole in there. This is where we put our sharp tool and put insert and push this way, which will release the spring. You'll feel the spring start to give there. Okay, I think I, I think I can have you guys see it like this, but so it's right here. Let's see if I can actually can I I'll see if I can actually get this in view. Okay, that's I think that's the best I'll get. So we put it in here and this is really annoying yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to block it a little bit no well, maybe not I'll try not yeah can I get it in view I'll try to there's I've seen a couple other videos on teardowns of this thing and this is the part they never show because it is really annoying to try to get it on camera 
for obvious reasons. I'm going to try to. Ah. Nope, I'm going to have to block it. I'm sorry. Wow. I've already done this once before, and it is still amazing to me that Garmin built these things like this. Holy crap. Ugh. I gotta put this on the light so I can see it better. I'm not even gonna cut this video. I want everyone to see how irritating it is to get this thing apart. Okay, I got it. Okay. It's apart a little bit, and I'm going to pull it out. There it goes. Zoom that back. Whew. Now this does come out. There is your spring, but you don't need to do that. Now on this, <laughs> yeah, there it goes. So... I'm going to take this and put it aside. Now we're left with this. Two screws here and here. These compared to the ones you saw before are quite long. And where did my T5 go? There it is. Okay. side okay so not the side with the slot the blank side let's see if we can get in there and get this thing apart now of course it would be better okay I'll try it from the bottom actually it would be better if I had a proper pry tool I do not or actually I do it's just not handy at the moment Okay, I'm going to have to try a different, thinner guitar pick. Try this one. Okay, are you going to... Here we go. Okay, got it. Okay. Whew. Now, before continuing, I suspect the reason this power switch is broken is because before I got this, Someone tried to repair this before and just knocked that plastic right out. There's a little piece in there. Okay, let's see if I can get under. The corners are the worst on this thing. I'm trying to keep it in view of the camera. Sorry about that. Dealing with okay, I'll have to try the power switch side, see if it actually goes. No, almost. There we go. Okay, so I've got that. Now the bottom side. There's another ribbon, that's your screen, 
And by the way, there is the battery. Does it say the part number? It does. I might as well read it to you while I'm here. Okay. Garmin part number 361-00019-02. Okay. And this is held down with adhesive. This is a little protector for the sur I'm glad the protector is here. That's actually kind of nice. Now, the way to get that out, I've shown in another video, you have to get under it with a, you need an actual pry tool for that and then just pry it open, uh, excuse me, up because it is glued to it and then you connect your battery. I am not going to bother replacing the battery in this because this thing is basically broken. But from this point, it's actually not too bad to get, uh, now you may have to remove this board because it does appear the battery is tucked under the board. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I, I suppose you have to in order to replace this battery, but... Anyway, so, you know what, let me see if I can actually... Is it going to move? Well, I might as well while I'm here. I'm going into uncharted territory. That is not a Torx. That is slotted. No, I'm sorry, that is... Is that a Phillips head? It is. Okay. No, I may do that in another video. I don't have the Phillips head. It's in my tool bag over there, and I'm not going to go digging for it right now. Well, we'll leave that for a part two. If there is a part two, if I feel like doing it. For now, let's just get this back together. Okay, first, you can... Just crack it back together. And again, no real civilized way to do it. And then these two screws. So we'll get that out of the way. Now by the way, being this thing is mostly broken anyway, I should note, I would ordinarily be a lot more careful. Ordinarily. But this thing's half busted anyway, so I don't really have to worry about it. All right. There's number one. Oh, I should also note, um, there are other videos that show a teardown. Yeah, I already mentioned that. But they, those other videos, I've just shown you all the hardest parts. Those other videos will show you, uh, I think New Power 99 shows them. Just search for Nuvi 350 battery, and you'll see what they do when they actually get inside like I did. Although they take it apart a lot different than I did, and I don't necessarily agree with the way they took it apart. Okay, now this part, you get you have two options here. You can either curly cue it around or curl it, or which I think is the more sensible thing to do is just see if you can just edge it in there. You want the least stress possible on this cable. You can do it if you just edge it in the air. There we go. Just like that. See? Just right like that. Now, the fun part. See this? Okay, let me get that in focus. Come on, focus, please. There we go. This is the part. This little itty-bitty piece of plastic, which you could break so easily. You have to get this sucker <laughs> it has to tuck in under here, which is just ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, yeah, there's a hole on the side for that thing right there. So this this is just not fun. None of this is fun at all. So we will start with this part. Okay. 
Now, notice on this one, there's a cutout. That's for this ribbon cable right here, so you do that first. Get this guy in here and tilt it around. There's just nothing fun about this at all. Man, okay, so there we go. In there, see if I can tuck it in. Am I in focus? Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure you can actually see this. Okay, so this is in here. I'm going to press this. There we go. Okay, the back part is on. Now, I'll see if I can tuck that sucker in. And this is just rough. This is so rough. Because ribbon cables, especially of this uh, legitimate vintage, have a nasty, there we go, I got it in there, have a nasty tendency to just break apart. Now this black part, you have to tuck it inside this uh, shroud, I guess you could say. So just push it down gently. Okay. It's in there. And this rests in here. Alright. Now this oh man. With that little piece. I'm gonna try to do this without breaking it. So remember there's a hole in this side, so I gotta go around. And just see if I can just get it in there without busting that piece. You know what? Let's do it this way. Take the board out. Put this on first. Get it around that gold connector. Let's see if I can finagle it in there. And oh, I might have got it. No, get in there. Come on. There we go. In you go. Ho oh, oh, ho, I got it. Okay. And then together. Whew. Wow, that was close. But it's in there. Alright. Very good. Now we take our two final screws. Put them back. Now even though the power switch is busted on this, it still will turn on, so we'll do that. We'll turn it on. Okay. And that's my, where's my little cradle thing? Okay, so that's, technically we're done at this point. I do have to test it, of course. Okay, got my cradle. Open it up. In we go. Power it up. Let's see what happens. If it tries to get a signal or forgets a signal, it, it's actually working. So we'll just wait for the bars. The signal bars, that is. Oh, yes. Look at that. I actually didn't break it. Amazing. Well, anyway, that's a, a mostly 80% uh, breakdown, at least, of the new V350. If you have to replace the battery in one of these, <laughs> good luck. You're going to need it.